Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 18 of Experimental Apple 17. Seven days to die. Let's play. <laughs> so, uh, day 18. I was down here. I got most of this cleared out. I just uh, finished up finishing up this corner here, but we can do that later. Um, got some stuff. We got a little bit more iron from here that we're going to go throw up uh, into the forge. I'm not going to throw it up, but uh, I did get some. Uh, I found a couple of nodes over in the sand pit, um, which is awesome. We're just a little bit shy on the stone. I've been digging down there, but most of it's been gravel. So it hasn't really been a whole lot. Let's go ahead and throw some of this uh, clay in there too. You know what? Let's go ahead. I know we don't really need it yet because I think that's for making I thought, uh, but maybe it's for steels, something or another. It's, um, oh yeah, rocket casings, um, rocket tips. used for I don't know is that is that all it's used for take iron it makes the block um, so you could place it like a wooden frame oh look it's daytime now uh, so we might need to look into that the electronic components looks like it requires um, the insulators require a tool and die set as well uh, it's very limited on what it needs or what needs the tool and die set but we need it for something so we're gonna do it that's simple um, I have some stone over here. Oh, it's it's burning. It's burning. Uh, I think that's like 600 worth. There we go. That'll get that started. That needs seven minutes and 12 wood is exactly uh, 10 minutes worth. So that's why I always put 12 in there. <laughs> I don't have any concrete. Oh. Okay, so I did manage to get uh, not quite 2,000 sand. That's what we we need. But with the little bit uh, of gravel that I, well, it wasn't a little bit. It was quite a bit of gravel that I dug out of there. Oh, I hear. I hope she dies. I hear him. Um... I heard a screamer. I hope she bit it. I got a lot of repair work to do. Oh, there she is. miss her. Uh, 
There we go. Whew. Don't want to deal with another feral cop. Oh, look at that. Uh, through the night, I did have uh, a whole nother um, horde of dire wolves. Uh, there was like three or four dire wolves and three or four regular wolves. Uh, I was down there digging and I heard, heard them. And uh, they did quite a bit of damage to a couple of blocks down here, but I already repaired it. It's like right here. I didn't repair this one though because I didn't have any of the stuff on me. But we need to eat because digging is apparently very, very, very hard work. Another thing I wanted to comment about is that the zombies and the dogs too they do way too much damage to these blocks. Way too much. Uh, it take it took me, you know, like two minutes to clear one of those flagstone blocks. And zombies can go, zombies and dogs can just chew through them like it's nothing, like it's butter. Uh, it should take them as long as it takes me. Uh, to mine it. <laughs> I mean, because I'm using a freaking tool that's meant to mine it and they're using their hands and their paws. Should take them longer because they don't have a tool. I have a tool, either that or it should take me less time to bust it with my tool. I, uh, that's just my opinion. But, uh, oh yeah, I harvested the crops um, and this was 25 vegetable stew because we had 50 corn, 50 potatoes, and 50 mushrooms. I finally got all of the crops, uh, all of those crops completely filled. So we now have 25 more vegetable stew, which we may have to eat another one because I want to be completely full. Yeah. But uh, we didn't get the 2,000 stone. I wanted to get at least some. Uh, one, one of our batches of. of uh, concrete going. Yeah, we're gonna need to eat another vegetable stew. <sighs> All right, um, let's sort of, I wanna go out and about. And so we're not gonna need those. I would really like to queue up all of that uh, concrete, but we don't have enough stone. But I think I'm gonna take what is at, in there. I'm gonna take and cue that 400 up. We'll just put that 600 sand in there. That's going to be for that. Uh, that way we're not carrying it around. I also would like to, because we're really low and I'm hoping I get quite a bit today while we're, why, it won't let me do a thousand. Akish, why won't you... There we go. Is that a thousand? Okay, that is a thousand. So we'll let that, uh, cause um, I need, and, and another thing I might wanna do right now is make like 50 of these cause uh, the zombies are tearing our crap up out there. We have several, those dogs just came right in they were able to bypass all our defenses because they have holes knocked in them. 
So if there's a, a clear path, they go through it. So what we're going to do is go over and hit this house. Um, I think that might be the one that had the zombie cop in the top. Um, not the one that we already did, obviously, but... Uh, that wasn't the one I was talking about. I think I was talking about, uh, cause I think we've been in one like that over there. Is that the one with the plate? No, I don't, I, no, I think that's a different one. That's the one that had the zombie cop in it. Uh, but the POI I was talking about was this one. Let's go loot this real quick and then we'll do some more base repairs. Uh, there should be some concrete for us when we get back. And we should have some spikes and some metal so we can go around and uh, get our outer defenses back in line. Because uh, uh, for one, it's, it's really good for... Um, those screamers that I don't have to worry about them. Ooh, a rotten flesh and nine bullets. I wish I could loot that. That looks like some good old rotten flesh to me. Oh, five oil score. I wonder, um, I don't think you can take these radios apart. I think you can get scrap metal. Don't know that it's worth that much effort. I wonder can I just take this apart? Uh, there's some plastic to be had there. None of this stuff is lootable, so I'll take it apart if we can get uh, electric components and some scrap metal because. Uh, we need tons of scrap metal. I don't know that it's worth taking this long. Uh, get it? Man, the... They just slowed down. Uh, oh, we have a couple of points to spend. I want to keep... Well... We're 56, so we have four more levels. We need two of the two things so we can go ahead and spend all our three points i did spend some over the night i don't know if i said that but i did uh, a level of position a level of yes yeah, science two levels of this so we also uh no two levels of this so we can get the motorcycle i would like to try and get a motorcycle um we can start using up some of the gas we get from oh a couple of a couple of zombies come to say hello which is uh, well on our zombie land adventure oh he's a tough he's a toughin oh you're not so tough though Take the two swings. I was really hoping that that point um, in the headshot would be more significant. <laughs> I keep trying to right click. This one goes a lot faster. That only had a hundred points though. This has three hundred. Oh yeah, we points, points. We were rudely interrupted. Um. Can we, we can do this. I think I might want to. Or we could get three points in there and get better loot. But I would rather, rather work on my wrenching. Um, Oh, that's nice. 30% faster aiming with rifles. 
reload 20% faster so it's a little bit better and you get reduced aiming stamina by 10% and you get kill streak or successive kills with one shot increases damage bonus by 10% 20% to a maximum of 30%. So you can bang, kill one, bang, kill one, bang, kill one, and you get 30% extra damage as long as you keep that kill streak going. That's, that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, I think I'm going to put a point into that because we're, again, we're going to be doing a lot of ranged damage on Horde Knight. The more we could do that, the better it's going to be. Um, and we might want to do this one with the range headshot. So hopefully we'll get some headshots in and it'll do that much more damage. Uh, I think that's where I want to go for now. And probably put a couple, the next two points we get because we got four more levels. We're going to need two points for steel and then the other two points I would like to put in this, the ranged weapon headshot damage. I think that'll help us a lot on Horde Knight. Um, hopefully it will. <laughs> I didn't do so well last time. I mean, I thought I did pretty good until the end. Um, and they had busted into my base. And that, uh, that wasn't good. It's not good when they bust into your base. Can't one shot those yet. Or those. Can with the power attack, I think. Uh, I want to get this metal thing here. I think I heard a little piggy. Only got seven metal with that. That's uh, disappointing. Did I? Yeah. It's faint. Like maybe it's coming from over here. Oh, but I'm not really hurting for the meat right now, so I don't think we've been in this house either. Yeah, we had those, uh, there you are, dinner. Yes. We do break for piggies. Oh, I'm not doing a power pack. I'm silly. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we've gone in this house. Uh, maybe if we got time after this one. Uh, we'll check it out. Got a couple of garbages up there. Can't loot it through that. Uh-huh. Five bullet casings. Uh, I'm going to scrap these because I really need the scrap. Um, and the, the landmines weren't as effective as I thought because once they, that's like doubled. Uh, once they break through, they, they don't go to, um, the landmines. Once they get a clear path. Hello, let's just use Hammy. I don't think we get any Yeah. When I when I use um the axe. Oh that's wood still. Even though it's not visible. When I use these tools I get resources back. Oh, dude. 
Lemon's bag. Ha 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 Um. I think there's like a zombie in here. Yeah. Yep. And I just woke him up. Hello? Can, can I have some, uh. Food, please? Oh! Nope! Oh my goodness! Time to, uh. Take a little second and <laughs> not get back into a corner. Holy cow! I really don't like the delay on this. I really like it as a weapon, with a lot of damage. But uh, sometimes I wish I just had a faster weapon. I wish I had my I had a machete. Uh, so it looks like we got rid of those guys. Two in the kitchen. We got some more in here. Hello? Nobody in here. I think they're going to be in this one. No, this is the bathroom. Nobody's in here. Uh, so we're going to have to make some noise. I don't think using a power attack on this will help since it has tears. It can only do so much damage. Uh, oh! Yeah, as soon as I stood up. Oh man, that's so bright. I didn't realize I had my uh, headlight on still. Um, I'm going to go ahead and break these down. Because for one, I keep running into them. And it hurts. Uh, it's hard to avoid those. So we'll at least take the ones on the side out. Power attack! Choppy choppy! Uh, I guess let's start in the bathroom. There's a bathtub with some rotten flesh. Yum! Five bullets. Hey. <laughs> Nothing up there. Uh, but we do have a chest over here. Doo -doo -doo. Toilet. Toilet pistol. Nothing. There's a wrench. And there's... Oh, I hear pitter-patters. Let's go outside and take care of them. Oh! Yeah. I was coming to meet you. Um, I don't have anything witty to say. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are there more? Yeah, I don't hear them. I think that was it. All right, let's go back there. We were in the bedroom. Let's take apart this guy. We need springs, I think. Oh, sorry, I had to scratch my arm. Yeah, I figure a wrench would take this thing apart a lot faster. It's only got 100 hit points. Uh, we can take that thing apart, I think. You still get a mechanical part and some leather. But yeah, this is like taking way too long. I got three points. This should be much faster. I had three points into that skill. Um, I got one of those. Let's go ahead and scrap that. I think everything else is good. 
Power attack. Yeah. Any secret hidden treasure? Yes. A backpack. Oh, nothing in it. You gotta be kidding me. Trash bin. Five dukes. I guess that's better than nothing. Look at that. There's a hole up there. I didn't even see that. Let's go check out the roof. Make sure. Oh, we opened the freaking vulture. Where'd you go? I didn't see him fly off. I think it's because of this. Uh... Whoa! Dang gummit! Yeah, it was because of that. That was uh, actually taking up multiple blocks. Um, it looks like they have like a little chair over here. The cooler that's uh, doesn't have anything in it. And let's go carve these babies up. Where'd the other one go? I don't see it. Maybe I splattered it into oblivion. That would be nice. It'd be nice to know that just occasionally I just splatter things into oblivion with that hammer. I think that's what happens with uh, some of the loot. <laughs> That's why you don't get loot sometimes, because you smash things to oblivion. Okay, well, that was the roof. Not a whole lot of stuff going on for you, paper. Why not? You got stuff? No. Hey, a nightstand. An intact one uh, with another thing to scrap. Scrap that chair. Uh, let's get the springs while we can. See, this one seems to be relatively okay the bed but like the chair and the the other bed those took way too long way too long in my opinion got another bed here yeehaw in them springs Stuff and things. I like getting the stuff and things. Oh, we're getting lots of look at all those springs. We got 34. We only got five mechanical parts, but you know, we haven't really taken a oh worn boots stuff. We got the cowboy boots. We got a couple pair of those. They're four four. It's way better. I forgot to see what the what we get from the merchant for those, but that's okay, I think. Yeah, we did this room, so we got to do this second bathroom. Nothing in the tub. Is there? Uh, that's a fake medicine cabinet. One coffee with some steel arrows. Hey, we'll eventually get to those steel arrows. Take apart that couch. Why not wrench the bed? Let's get the uh, everything we can out of here. Lots of goodies. Look at all that metal. Have we gotten very much? Oh, 490. That's good. That's really good. Um, let's chop up the couches. I know we wrote, really don't need the cloth, but we get a little bit of wood out of it and experience too. So why not? How about, can we power attack this guy? Yeah. Get some more wood. Uh, get a couple of those. Oh, the flat one takes more hit points. How about you? Got a picture? Oh, yeah. Suitcase. Steel crossbow bolts. Um, how about you? And the TVs. I don't... Oh, I think we can take these apart. Oh, yeah. That's an actual TV, I guess. Where the other ones are just glass. Because... I break them, I just get glass. Alright, the kitchen. Yes, I love 
do in the kitchen, but this one looks really shabby. To get a can and some extra bottles, we need the extra bottles, actually. There's a sink. Oh, look at that can of Asher. That's, that's good. Uh, one more over here. And then we got this box, this Shamley box. You gonna have some good stuff in there, bud? A meat stew. Uh, we don't really have any other food on us. Let's just go ahead and eat it. Uh, put us up to the top. I think we got, uh, is this one more room? Why didn't I need that chair already? Let's grab it. Uh, usually the outside walls don't have things on it. Yeah, we got, we got to do the laundry room. Ooh, the laundry basket has clothes in it. More shades. Yeah, let's just scrap this. Uh, we don't really have the room. The shades are nice, but man, I would like to get some uh, nerdy glasses. I guess you would find those in a desk, probably. All right, that looks to be it. And it is, it's only nine o'clock in the morning. Um, we are a little bit encumbered. <sighs> wow, we got a lot of cloth out of that. I guess it was the beds. Those small beds. Um, let's go ahead and... Oh, we were at 100%. Dang it, I just wasted that, but it cleared up a spot. Um, let me get rid of uh, the glass. We got one coffee bean. If we get full, I might just uh, get rid of that. Yeah, let's go ahead and check this one out. I want to loot. I don't want to just sit there and work on my base. If that's all the game is, you know, that's like <laughs> taking all the fun out of it, you know? Because I like looting. I like going and exploring, getting into the houses. Oh, it's unlocked. And I just destroyed it. It looks like this... That's a little cupboard under the stairs. Uh, the whole ceiling is like coming apart. Oh! Can't jump by stealth. Uh, let's try to make our way up top. That looks like a fake board there. I don't know if these white ones are fake or not. Look, there's, uh, looks like there's only one guy here. Chick, one chick here, one zombie persona. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot to loot. Oh, right in the hoo-ha. And she's a little bit confused as to where she needs to be going. Let's try to carefully walk over here, get our arrows back. Thank you. Yeah, this this is um, not a very good place. I guess we can go ahead and stand up. I didn't see anything else. So this shouldn't take us very long. <laughs> you should get back in and have plenty of time to work on the base a little. Yeah, not a lot to loot here. Just be careful of those boards. 
smack up some paper, some wood, a couch. It's just a little, oh, it's got a little, you know, sometimes people hide stuff in the air vents. Oh, that's wooden. Does that mean there's something hidden under here if it's got a little air duct? No. There's the fireplace. Uh, a picture, you got something hiding? No. Let's check our little area under the stairs. It doesn't look like there's anything in here. Wow, this is a really empty place. It's very, very empty. We got a sink and a toilet. Got a pot. I guess this would be something that you could loot easily on the like the your first day. So there's not a lot of there was only one zombie in here. And there was a pot. So oh look, is this the kitchen? Um Yes, I'll take some water and some cans to scrap. It's mostly intact. We already got some of those. You got a secret? No. A trash can. There's a refrigerator with nothing in it. A microwave that's empty. And... Whew. Well, that was it more stuff on the outside than there is on the inside, huh? That's, that's crazy. Uh, it's really bad. That was a really bad house. <laughs> Did not take long at all. Guess it's for sale. It was probably empty, you know, before. Go ahead and loot up. Loot it up, loot it up. I'm running. You just can't tell. Let's clear out this stupid tree. It's really impeding my vision. Oh, and it just like it's still. They don't want the tree to go away. Why are you not do this to me? I wanted you gone. Okay. Well, apparently the game wants that tree there. <laughs> Alright, so... <sighs> I think we leveled up. Yeah, we got another point available. So, let's do our boom headshot. I think that helps with um, archery. Which, I think if you go into agility and you do the hidden strike, what if you get a sneak attack headshot? Would that just instantly kill them? I think so. Uh, sneak attacks do 50% more damage is, I think, um, I think that would be useful too, uh in clearing out POIs because you could get those uh, sneak attacks in that might just one shot them. Oh, I'm never going to make it. Did I scrap? Air? Oh, I don't want this stupid seed or that clay soil. I can scrap that. Cotton. There we go. That's a little bit more. Uh, we were a little bit down on the water. Yeah, I think that's good. How much are these worth? They're only 52. Wow. I think they would be worth more. I think instead of... Ooh, where's this? Instead of repairing this um, tool... The wrench, I think we might make a new one. Uh, 
Uh, let's go up, empty up our stuff, and I want to get our defenses uh, placed. Uh, can barely move. I really wanted to put some more points in the pack mule, but I really, I really want to do something uh, offensive wise as well. All right, I think this is our tool chest. Put the wrench back. We're gonna need this. I hear Burning Man. All right, we got some bullet casings, some feathers that go in there. Also, we got some steel crossbow bolts. Did we get, yeah, we got a little bit of nine millimeter. We really don't have a lot ammo wise. We're gonna be totally screwed on Horde Night. We need to do something about that. Um, at the very least, we can make up uh, all of these. That ought to help. Little bits. Oh, we did have another wrench. Oh my gosh. Oh, we had some arrows too. Damn it. I hate, I hate not, not seeing everything. Okay, I think this chest above the. This is like miscellaneous. I think I'm going to put the die in there. And we need, we have a bunch of stuff that goes over here. That ought to help me uh, think a little bit. Oh, yeah, I used all the duct tape. That's right. Uh, there's some acid that can be over there. Uh, you guys can go we miss some more ammo, huh? You guys can go in there. We still have the wrong flesh over here, yeah. Oh, I've got the eggs. Man, I just keep getting all the stuff and things. Okay. We got a couple of weapons, the SMG. That's really good uh, durability too. That's nice. Um, got those arrows done. Some more ammo. I guess we can go ahead and sell those. I think we have two pairs already. And this is in our actual uh, painkiller stuff. And some more glass jars. What I want to do before we run outside is to grab a little bit of sand because we are Maybe not that much. Maybe we'll do that to like 200. Uh, we need to cook up some glass jars. So let's, um, there's our thousand metal. Yay. Um, also, do, 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 while that is melting. I want to cook up uh, 33 more of these guys. Yeah, that's uh, just under 10 minutes. That's awesome. Now we have like no iron. Oh, okay. So we have these, um, we have our repair gun. 
Hopefully we won't, uh, hopefully none of the barbed wire fence is actually broken and we can just repair it instead of having to use um, a bunch of wood again. That would, that would be ideal. I think the most damage is over here. We're going to go on the outside so we don't. Um, yeah, there he is. I'm going to say I've heard the burning guy. Bernie McBurnerson. Whoa! Alright, there we go. Oh, look, rock. Yeah, it, once they get that pathway through there, they don't, uh, they don't go anywhere else. Oh, there's a little... Doesn't look like they... go good as new see they don't they just don't um what was i on this one yeah that one looked hurt uh they make a pathway through and then they just ignore like once they destroy these uh they only go on that and they do very little damage not, there we go they do very little damage to these, uh, the barbed wires, which is good because that, uh, that means they're still there for the following one. So, honestly, it would be more effective to not have the spikes, to just have more barbed wire fence in these spots so they just come in and they're immediately because we're not really concerned I don't know the screamers they come in and they die so quickly on those spikes uh, it's almost worth having it there just for them I hate the screamers they uh, they call cops and they don't screw around and Alpha 17, they don't go, oh, this call regular guys. No, they call the cops. Throw you in jail. Yeah, the barbed wire fence hasn't been taken. Uh, I guess this doesn't really do damage to them, so it takes very little damage in return, as I'm guessing is its main reason is to just slow them down and that's all I want. I want to slow them down. Although, since they run, they don't really spend, a, at the nighttime ones, they don't really spend a lot of time in the barbed wire. They generally get out of it fairly quick. That one was pretty jacked up. Oh, Nikki. Nikki, you are so large. You make my my arm. The whole world is shaking. Oh, Nikki's over here. She needs love. She needs love. Look at this one. This one is seems to be a popular entrance. So yeah, the, um, they really pathfind uh, pretty well through the traps. If there's a hole, they'll they'll take that. I think I'm missing one there. Ah, oh, nerds! I'm actually ah no missing a couple on this end. This is where that cop came through, I think. So, actually, only one is missing. It looked like there was another missing over there. So, let's go ahead and make another. 
You know, this is under science, too. Science and traps. There we go. Nikki, she is so large. There we go. This guy's hurt. Fix you up. Uh huh. Um. So he's taking a little bit of damage over here. Awesome. Um. That must have been from a an explosion or something. I don't normally. They haven't really been damaging this that much. Maybe that cop was breathing on it. He was breathing on freaking everything. Oh my gosh. This one looks good. And I think we started over there. Yeah, that's where we started. Awesome. So we got that upgraded. <laughs> oh my gosh. We only managed to do like 23 points of damage to ourselves on the spikes. All right, so. We only queued up like 400. That's not enough for one side. I think we should do this side last because it has uh, more spikes on it. Or this side. It also has more spikes. Which one has the least? This one only has one and it's not uh, actually on it. Uh, so that one maybe first. Or this one because um, we actually already put in these uh, blocks there. So we would only need the... Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, we'd actually only need the 33 for this side. So, maybe we'll do that one first. Let's go check on our, uh, our stuff. <sighs> yeah, I can't. We'll, we'll also do... Um, check on our iron to see if that's ready. Because we have another uh, section to replace. Oh, it's not done. Um, let's go ahead and queue up some more of those, those glass jars. Uh, no, I wanted to do that. That's awesome. A hundred. hundred glass jars. So, what did we put? Two hundred in there? So it was two sand per jar? That's not bad. Okay. Uh... Oh, let's check over here. We got 200 more. 300 to queue up. Let's see. Yeah. We're going to have to watch that one because uh, we should be able to get this last bit in. this stuff up. So we got 400 left. What we need to do is go ahead and queue up our 33 blocks that we need for that one side. There we go. Also we need to repair a door. That didn't take near as much barbed wire as I thought. Or, or metal. How are you doing? It's only got 12 more rocks to melt, and then we can queue up that last hundred. Oh, one more. Yes. And it's to make in jars. We don't have a lot. Oh, we need a couple more minutes. rest of the jars. Oh, ho, ho. Six more, five more. Just a few 
few more seconds and we'll go ahead and queue that up so we don't waste that fuel. Probably don't even need that much. Five more seconds. And go. We got three, three and a half minutes. Yeah, we'll have plenty. Or can I take? No, I can't take that stuff out. Okay, so we don't need the spike traps anymore. We could lay some more around the inner circle, but I don't want to do that just yet. How you doing over here? My blocks aren't done. Okay, so while our blocks are making, let's go replace uh, replace some of those wooden frames with more mm, iron bars. That would be excellent. Shiny would be excellent. Um, uh, which side do we want to do the first? Whoa. Um, we got this one. Maybe we'll just do this this section and we'll want to copy the rotation. There we go. Oh. Is this are we gonna lose this door too? Yes. Dang it. I don't know why that's like that. That's just weird that it's on the outside block instead of the block that I placed it on. Now these are going to be a challenge to place. Maybe I should come like this and place it on that one. It'd be a little bit easier than try to place it on the one on the wall. Because, uh, I don't know. Yeah, you have to get it right there. Not actually even looking at the block at that point. So it's easier to tell where to aim on these sidebars there. There we go. Get our nail gun ready in case one of them is damaged. There it is. There we go. Awesome. Now this will be a whole another section upgraded. Oh, I feel so much better having the iron bars there. I know it's expensive, but it's definitely worth it. Peace of mind. Now we just got two more sections left. That's 3,300 iron in the forge each. So, yeah. I think that's like uh, 600 iron. 6,100 iron because you get five each. Well, that'd be more like 3,500. Anyway, let's go. Let's go see. Oh, we need the door. That's right. We destroyed our door again. See, I would think that that would be, it's more on the inside block, but the frame sort of sticks out and rests right on those. So I guess I can see it. Also, um, we need to upgrade this door. There we go. So let's go get our concrete. Yes, we're gonna get to do it a little bit. Get that one section done. I'll feel a little bit safer. 
Are, you, are they done? Yes. Yes. Um, how about you? Yes. Okay, so we can turn that off. Take a little bit of wood. 357. Oh, I'm out of rocks. Holy crap. I was like, why didn't that do the thing? All of it. 400. Oh. That's going to drive me nuts. Okay, let's go whack on this rock for a minute. Oh, that's some nice lag there. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> that is sarcasm in case you didn't know. Uh, yeah, I've been working on this a little bit. At least every time I go by or... I think I had a, a little bit of time and I had plenty of wood. Normally I use it to gather wood because I can gather stone, you know, under my base uh, probably in the middle of the night. So I haven't really been coming over here too often. But I think I needed stone for some cement. So I came over here and whacked on this a little bit. How much stone do we need? We needed 43 and we got it. Let's go do this one. I can't have the not be even numbers. Oh my god. Here we go. Let's go to get this 43 sand out of my inventory. <laughs> Oh, whew. that's much better. All right. Um, yeah, we don't have enough quite yet for another section, but we should once all that gets done. And then we need to uh, pretty much do it all over again. Uh, we'll need to make a... Oh, that sounds like a horde. Holy crap. Let's get up. Up, 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 up. Oh, no. I just put those up. Oh, you little peckers. That's not for you. Look at all of them. Yeah, make sure you hit every single one of them. guys and they haven't dropped any bags. I got really lucky in the last couple and they oh, hey. Look at that, look at that. 
They completely destroyed these two. Dang it! Oh, it was under traps. I have to fix this. I left one. There were just so many of them. They, they didn't even uh, bother making a pathway through. Oh, look, they damaged that fence. Oh, they actually destroyed a piece of fence over there. See, when they come through in mass like that, uh, that's when this is the most effective. Because then they're not just making a beeline. Oh, I didn't know you could upgrade that. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Oh. There we go. Um, we have fence. Yeah, because if that's uh, one lower, they can just jump over that. Let's go grab a fence because we can't really make that in our inventory. Takes. Oh, I have more concrete and stuff there. Let's grab that out. Get our fence. And then go do that section. Are you the right way? Hold on. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to get on the spikes. There we go. And the section we want to do is right here. So let's get our shovel. Oh no! Jeez. I left my shovel up. That is no good. It's almost 16 o'clock. Did I put it in the tool chest? I believe I did. There we go. We should uh, probably need to repair that after. Oh, this is not a good time for my eyes to start freaking burning. Let's get our 33 blocks. Oh, I can't wait for this to be done. It's going to be awesome. So, with what we have, once that stuff up there is made, I can go make 41. Actually, we have enough now that we found that 100 in or so in the chest. Uh, so, we could go queue that up. Let's let's go do that uh, so that while we're doing this part, beep, um, that'll be making and we can come out. Uh, once we're done, we can go back in, get the rest, scoop it up, do the thing with the thing, and everything will be awesome. Um, all right. And that part is done too. So now we need 41 blocks for sure. Try to save uh, some back for repairs. We need, uh, so if we get this done, we might go over and dig some sand uh, during the day. Because I don't like doing that at night because we have no... Uh, uh, we have no defense over there. It's just a hole in the ground. It might uh, be okay to have one guy up there pounding on the wood, but if you get a, you know, a wandering horde in the middle of the night, they'll just chew through that wood like it 
like it wasn't even there. Yes, I'm having flashbacks from day 14 horde. <laughs> yeah, they chewed through my wooden uh, base and dropped down in there like it was nothing. I And now that I think about it, um, the, the nights of the first seven days that I spent down in there, It was so dangerous, I didn't even, I had, had no idea how easy they could just break in through there. Um, I guess we could go ahead and upgrade these. These are the corner blocks um, that we're not going to be able to get to from the inside. There we go. That way, if they accidentally do uh, break through the concrete, they'll have a little bit tougher time getting through the wood blocks because they're upgraded with metal now. Oh, yeah. Look the way the concrete looks in the morning and the late evening. Oh, we had... Oh! Oh, because the corners, I did these parts, so it's only nine that we need. Nine wide uh, times three, which is 27 plus eight. It's just 35. So we only need 35 per side. What? So we actually have enough for a third side there. Um... Let's, did I see something that was uh, damaged? No, okay. <gasps> so 35 per side. I think we'll do this side next. Um, and we'll have some extras. So let's go ahead and do... Queue up another 35 since we have it. Oh, this is such a pain getting in and out. <laughs> uh, okay, that's all ready. And we have um, 12 extra. So maybe we should just do 23. There we go. Um, actually, while we're here, let's grab a bit of metal and repair up our shovel. Sweet! Now we're ready. Now we're ready. Ready to get that other section down. We'll have three parts. We still need, we still need the other batch of sand. We need we need more sand. Um, did we have enough in there? Cause um, we could always just go uh, feed on that rock out there. If if all we need is rock, I think we might have actually had the extra sand. Yeah, if I remember correctly. All right, let's go ahead and up this guy. Okay, this is uh, really shaping up. You gotta remember to power attack. It's only two shots. Oh, I'm totally missing. Yeah, it's really painful to mine the rock. Um, using the mining pick uh, uses a lot more stamina. I don't know why I have the 
half the liner, 69er, and um, uh, the mother load. I guess I could actually put another point into there to get more stuff. Uh, Yep, yep. Yeah, I don't know why, but it it's it takes twice as long to like uh, chew through stone. Even though I have a iron pickaxe, it just doesn't seem. To, maybe it'll be better once I get a steel. We need to get 60. Um, getting a steel tools would sure be nice uh, to upgrade those before the hoard. Like the shovel, maybe we'll be able to one-shot this dirt and the gravel down there. Um, make gathering materials a little bit easier, I think. Maybe the stone, because uh, if we get an upgrade to our pickaxe, that would be nice. I wonder if there's, is there a, like a steel version of the sledgehammer, or is that just the best we got? I don't know. Oh, um. Yeah, let's make sure we get this. go. And we'll eventually uh, probably want to upgrade this because um, I was surprised. I don't know if it was intended. Um, when that wolf horde came through, I, I expected them to do more damage because I was down underneath digging. I expected them to have done more damage to the blocks below them like a zombie horde would have done. Um, but I guess they didn't. Uh, maybe the, the dogs can't dig down like um, the zombies can. I don't know. That's just my uh, thinking because they had only damaged um, like this block and a couple here and maybe yeah this one right there because I haven't repaired it. I didn't have uh, the stone on me, uh, the cobblestone rocks at the time. So yeah, I was really surprised. Oh, I tried to push R. You can't do that in there. How are you doing? Got 100 jars and no other stuff in there. I don't have any stone to put in there. I'm sad. I got 100 stone on me. We do have uh, 35 more. So let's try to get that one, that one more side done. And maybe we'll go ahead and call the episode early since all I want to do is uh, hit, beat on that rock. All I want to do is beat on the rock and have some fun. We're going to kill these because when we dig the dirt out, they're going to fall and we'll lose all the materials. And we can get a little bit back if we kill them ourselves. Um, you know, I'm thinking we might, instead of putting these back, might replace them with uh, far more fence. Jeez, it's so hard to get the words out sometimes. I feel like my brain is fried from all that chemo. All right, let's diggy diggy and get this. Uh, Third section done. 
going to be awesome. I feel a little bit better. I'm hoping we can get level... Uh, we are getting a little bit ex of experience doing this. So, that's good. We're all... We have almost got a, a level here. Um, let's go ahead and... Boop. Upgrade this boy. Yes. And, uh, yeah, we'll make sure we get those wooden planks upgraded again. Definitely going to um, I think we should be able to do some more looting. Um, I'm not sure there's really anything left close by. Oh, I don't think we've actually gone into the gears place. Uh, so maybe we'll do that next episode. And probably some more, uh, <laughs> probably some more base upgrades, or, or we could do something exciting and go hunt for buried treasure. Uh, we'll definitely. Oh, we could make the motorcycle. We need to look into that. Maybe that's what that's what we're gonna do. We'll uh, make the motorcycle and head out to that treasure. And if we have any time left, we'll work on the base. That sounds like a good plan. Because I want to make the motorcycle. I've never made one before. It'll be fun. I'm out of stamina. I don't have any drink on me. We got almost 2,000 more clay soil. Um, something else I wanted to look. Uh, what is the difference in the fertility? This is fertile level 5. Nice. And this is fertile level 5. Okay. Because I was wondering if maybe the burnt forest grounds might have uh, more fertility than uh, the normal forest ground. But it doesn't. It's the same. So now we know. Because if it did have more fertility, it might be worth it to use that in the farm instead of the other one. Not that I would probably be willing to tear up all that ground and all those crops just to replace that, but, you know, it would be something to think on if I had to, like, restart and make a new base. I'm really liking, uh, I normally go with a base like this in all my games, um, this basic inner structure, although I haven't done the, uh, the fence around it, that is, um, that is really interesting how they changed the, AI, the AI on the zombies and that we can sort of herd them into, uh, areas and whatnot. So I'm thinking a uh, barbed wire fence around these areas so that when they come in, these seem to have, they last a lot longer. Uh, they have a lot better durability than the spikes. So we might put those up around the inside so that as they're coming in and pouring in and uh, wanting to be stupid idiots and run around all over the place, they're they're going to be hitting those uh, barbed wire fences and being slowed down so we can hit them easier. That's the whole uh, thing behind this. Uh, this base is to slow them down so we can deal with them, to funnel them into certain areas You know what might also be beneficial is to maybe 
put walls here. Like that. Uh, and leave the corners open so that um, they already naturally come to the corners. But this way, our corners are reinforced and they're, we're hurting them even more into this area where our base is reinforced so they'll more than likely hit on these first which is more desirable that way if they break one block even two they still shouldn't be able to get through until they break four so that's more desirable than this area at the moment since we're so we're so <laughs> I'm I'm like freaking out. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to uh, handle the next board uh, the way the last one went. But yeah, we, I I think I want to put just some wood up because again, this isn't going to this isn't meant to uh, keep them out. It's just meant to divert them and herd them into areas that will cut down on the amount of traps that we need and also um, since they're walled off and they seem to like to go through the empty spaces we can leave this area open uh, and trap free uh, since and that will also I think Keep them away from breaking our ladders because they seem to they seem to just love breaking the freaking ladders so i think i'll go ahead and knock these guys down especially since they're close to my ladder and i have uh i have hit them so maybe we'll like take these oh it's 19 o'clock the crickets are out uh, yeah, I think I like this idea of funneling them into the corners where our base is even more reinforced and we can uh, put the barbed wire there to slow them down so that once they do get into our base, uh, It'll be a little bit more easier to handle. I like that. Uh, I like that idea a lot. And we can we can put the barbed wire down and even put this. Uh, what is that called? Just is that just barbed wire? This is barbed wire fence that goes on the ground, and this is just barbed wire, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And maybe we can put that there so that when they jump, they're also taking a little bit of damage from the barbed wire. Maybe we can put it up too high. So if they try to jump on each other's heads, they'll still hit some more barbed wire. I think that's that sounds like a good plan. And also, I, I want to double this. Eventually, there's going to be uh, iron bars two out all the way around, and maybe we'll even put some railing up, uh, iron bars going up, or just do wooden. No, I don't want to do the wooden fence because I can't really see through it, um, and the iron bars offer good protection. So I think. Yeah. That way, if I'm on the roof and I see I'm getting attacked, I can drop down and there'll be a ledge there to catch me. Uh, and I can start shooting immediately. So, yeah. that's uh, This is really shaping up. I, I like that idea of hurting them around. Um... They don't, I don't think they're going to whack on this too much. 
And if they do tear it down, it's only a little bit of wood. It's not a big deal. It's not meant to um, really keep them out, you know. It's meant to uh, funnel them. If they happen to break it, then they break it. Uh, they will then go to that section to get through. But at the way the corners, uh, we have them funneling through and the corners there. They're already set up to make a beeline for the corner anyway. So, oh, there we go. Um, if I can hit this, oh my gosh, there we go. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and call it here. I'm gonna head out there and uh, start whacking on that rock and hopefully get another 3,000 stone. 3,000 stone is what I'm looking at to make one, our last batch of concrete to fill in this section. We'll have some more extra for um, uh, repairs, which I wanna make sure I have enough for repairs, uh, so maybe we'll try to, I'll try to get an extra batch. So anyway, next time, motorcycle, make sure you watch it because it's going to be freaking awesome. A motorcycle, really? <laughs> we're going to get a motorcycle. We're going to go find the buried treasure. That probably won't be very exciting. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of digging. Um, Hopefully not too much. Um, and hopefully it's on a nice flat area and not a hill. Because digging in hillsides suck <laughs> really bad. Uh, so hopefully we'll also level up to 60 and get, to get, get into some steel. Uh, we also need a crucible, so that's a lot of stone. That's a lot more stone. And we're looking at 3,000 stone per 1,000 cement, I mean concrete. So yeah, anyway, don't forget, leave a comment. I mean, is it, is, do you think the hordes are like a little bit too tough? Maybe the zombies are hitting the blocks too hard? That's what I think. I. Uh, I think um, I'm not hitting the blocks hard enough if that's how hard they can hit. Because uh, I'm eating really good food. I should be strong. The zombies, they're not eating anything. They're decaying. I can understand maybe the ferals that they're special and they have more strength. Maybe them doing that much damage. But not a normal zombie. A normal zombie shouldn't be able to come up and bust through my walls in, you know, less than a minute. That's just wrong. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> rinse off. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.